This video is about um, I carry this is a helmet bag, but I don't carry a helmet in there. I carry a lot of stuff to help me when I'm out riding and in the event something happens. Like first aid kit, um, some small tools, maps, um, rain suit, um, oh, and a flat kit, stuff like that. And I'm going to take this off the bike and go through the contents of it to show you. I mean, that's my everyday carry whenever I'm riding. It really doesn't weigh a lot. But I want the security that I got, you know, I got things covered as I'm out riding. Because you never can tell when a flat or something's going to happen. So uh, I'm going to take it off my bike and then I'll show you the contents of what I got in there. I'm going to try to do this without trying to make too much of a mess and an accident. This is the bag off the back of my motorcycle. I um, made a new mount for it, but I wanted to show you guys everything that I carry on an everyday ride. Stuff that will help me in the event that I have a problem out there. And first off, I got a pair of hats, and I really just need one. I have a problem with the sun burning at the top of my head, so I need that. These are prescription glasses. Here's a uh, pen. Here is my... Uh, rain suit. It's got high visibility. It's from Milwaukee Performance. I got this at a rally. Uh, it takes up a little bit more room than I want, but I got to do what I got to do. I have a bunch of maps right here. They slide in the side. There's a road, uh, road atlas. Actually, there should be two of them. Yeah. Um, here's some information about riding places and all. Uh, I always have um, SPF 50 sunscreen, a couple of masks. Um, this is an emergency jump start. I have the plug. Um, and this will fit on this this fit in any charging port and then use that part to hook up to another battery on and off now you use this to charge a battery you don't use it to jump start i got that wrong you you, you there's not a big enough wire there to jump start so uh i keep a few rags in there now you know them are mic micro microfiber cloth. This is either Lucas or the McGuire's Waterless. Uh, either, either one of them are the ones I use all the time. And I put it in here because it's smaller. And I use this to clean my windshields when I get out there and I get covered with bugs. And it's really good stuff. Okay, now here's my here's my all my flat stuff. That little AC compressor is uh, Harley-Davidson style. Here is a flat kit from Grip. Uh, I went and I got an extra uh, tube of glue because that's what you, you have to use the glue to put them strips in. Uh, I think I have a couple of uh, little like wrenches to pull nails and stuff out with. But that's my, that's, that bag right there is all the flat proof stuff that, or stuff for fixing a flat right there. Of course, the uh, first aid kit, uh, emergency poncho. Why is that in there? That's empty. Well, that's something I can move. Here's something very important. This is an emergency pouch uh, gasoline bag. And... I bought this. They're not real expensive. I got it on another uh, video of mine. Uh, I think it was around $12, $13. They say it's a one-use thing. I haven't used it. But that comes with this. So if you or somebody runs out of, of gas, this is your emergency carrier. Very smart idea, and I'm glad I found it. They sell it on Amazon. 
flashlight, very important. Energy drink, uh, breath mints, always very important to have around. This is filled with um, earplugs. And another poncho. And here is assorted tools. Uh, zip ties, always keep you a batch of zip ties around. There is a Leatherman. Assorted small wrenches. One screwdriver with many bits, which I see that they're laying around everywhere. A small flashlight with a magnet on the back of it. Uh, my knife fell apart in there. A small bit of wire. Yep, I got to put my knife back together again. This is an axle nut. Um, what it does, you. Slide it in here. Ah, come on. Sorry. Maybe it's the other side. Okay. Okay. That uh, helps take the uh, axle nut out so you can change a tire if you needed to. And this is small tie. So if you're with somebody out riding, you can uh, use this to help somebody change their flat. Um, always need some electrical wire and uh, slot pliers. Small. Wow, that came apart. Anyhow, uh, Allens, you always need Allens. Now I put them in a kit like that. In fact, one of them came out. Okay, that needs to go into the tire kit. And these are extra uh, pop um, plastic rivets that hold stuff together. Um, and I gotta put a lot of crap back together. Anyhow, that's my little take along bag. And I probably should take a few things out, you know, just to lighten it. But everything's right there. And to me, for emergencies and just regular riding, that's, that's to me, what's, what, that's needed. And so, uh, anyhow, folks, uh, hope this helped you out a lot. That's a helmet bag, and I think I paid like $30 for it on Amazon. And the uh, gasoline pouch was around $12, $15, something like that. And it comes with that little spout. You know, that'll come in handy one of these days. I mean, the grain gear takes up the most space, but I can't tell you how many times I've been out on a nice sunny day, and then boom, there goes the rain. And it's not... Well, it's not fun riding in rain. Anyhow, I think there's a lot of neat stuff right there, and I wanted to post this video about what I have out there. So anyhow, I hope it helps you guys out and gives you some ideas. So y'all have a good one, and we will catch you on the next video. Okay, I've got everything put back in it. And... Four mounts on each side. It was 11, 11 screws. So, that's all my stuff that I carry with me on every ride. To me, I, I kind of think it's important to carry stuff like that. Just gives me room on that seat, it's very sturdy real stout and now these uh, clips I can they would fly it flapping the wind and other stuff like that and I didn't kind of didn't care for that but that's what she looks like right now so eventually if I, if I could ever find a good box 
a good box always costs, but I'd like to get one. In fact, uh, I like the Harley Square, the Square style boxes that where it, it opens sideways. Them are nice boxes. You put two helmets and two jackets in there, and that's pretty good. Uh, but I would paint it the same color as the bike. And then put some uh, lights on it, too. Uh, in addition to the, the, that would help the backlights, the taillight and, and uh, turn signals. But uh, gave me something to do on this crappy afternoon. We had a inch and a half of rain last night, so can't do much out here. But that's what it looks like. So project done. Anyhow, you guys have a good one and uh, go make you something. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.